Hi. This is David. I have 4 years of airport systems and integration experience. I am sharing this experience with those who are interested in learning more about this exciting topic. For this introduction, I will be covering some of the more popular systems. Baggage handling system. Flight information display system. Common use terminal equipment. Structured cabling network. Gigabit backbone network. Airport operational database. Information broker. Stay tuned as I go through this introduction to several of the systems. A baggage handling system has three main functions. Move bags from the check-in area to the departure gate. Move bags from one gate to another during transfer. Move bags from the arrival gate to the baggage claim area. Departing passengers. When you are at the check-in desk, the airline agent opens your itinerary on the common use terminal equipment computer and prints out a baggage tag for each piece of luggage. The tag is attached to the baggage which has all of your flight information encoded on it. Some newer systems will use a radio frequency identification. However, as not all airports have this technology, the radio frequency identification tag incorporates the conventional barcode on baggage tag as well. This number is unique to you and your luggage. All of the computers in the baggage handling system can use this number to electronically look up your itinerary. The airline agent then dispatches the baggage to the takeaway conveyor where the baggage is transported to the main baggage system. The baggage then goes through an automated barcode scanner that reads the baggage tag or a radio frequency identification reader. From this scanning process, each piece of baggage will have its specific position on the baggage conveyor system. As the baggage goes through the baggage system, the baggage will be scanned for unauthorized materials. If the baggage has suspected unauthorized material, the baggage will be diverted to a further security screening position. Cleared baggage will continue its journey and the main baggage computer system will eject a bag at the appropriate off-ramp where the baggage can be collected and then transported to the appropriate airplane. Transportation of the bags is done via carts or containers. Baggage is then brought a short distance to the plane and loaded. Some planes are bulk loaded, meaning the bags are brought up one by one on a conveyor and placed into shelves in the cargo hold. Other planes are container loaded, meaning that special containers are loaded on the ground and then placed into the plane. Some flights require positive passenger and baggage confirmation prior to loading the baggage onto the aircraft. This is called a baggage reconciliation system. Arriving Passengers When the aircraft arrives, ground handlers take tugs and, or trolleys to the aircraft to unload the baggage. The baggage is then brought to the terminal building and put on an arriving conveyor system. The baggage is then transported to the arrivals hall and deposited on arrivals baggage carousels. Some airports x-ray the baggage to look for unauthorized items in the baggage. Passengers will leave the aircraft via passenger boarding bridges or via movable ramps. The passenger will see signs that advise them where they can collect their baggage. These signs are called baggage information displays and are generally controlled by the flight information display system.